This is a deplorable production. Everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, you know, the deplorable patriot, and if there's one potentially positive thing that I think that uh, we uh, have learned from this whole COVID-19 debacle, it's uh, the, we, we've learned an incredible amount about the society in which we live in and this is going to be crucial too by the way very important if we actually do manage to stave off the the current plunge into a nightmarish hell of a future of techno fascist slavery i don't know it sounds pretty heavy doesn't it well actually it is and i'll be right back after this to explain everything the deplorable patriot is brought to you by god country and guns keeping free men free for over 250 years freedom ask for it by name before we go any further please subscribe to this channel like and share this video also, please visit our website at www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. There's a link in the comments below. By now, uh, we all should have a new understanding of exactly what the world has become and what we would like it to be in the future. But I'm afraid that uh, while uh, many of us have who, those of us who have been paying attention anyway have learned um, that there's still a majority of people out there apparently who have learned nothing at all and I hope to God that they'll be able to eventually catch up and I'll explain to you how you can help make that happen in just a moment but for right now as a refresher course for everyone who has actually been paying attention and as a lesson for those who haven't um, let me now offer to you my top 10 list with with all due apologies to David Letterman my top 10 list of things that we should have learned over the last year of COVID fear number one on my list are politicians and political parties our political system is corrupt, I I I massively corrupt. We should view all politicians as being hopelessly corrupt. That's all there is to it. Period, paragraph, end of story. And then judge each one of them individually according to their actions and not their rhetoric. And as far as parties are concerned, there is no political party that can be trusted None. Zilch. Zero. They all can be and have been bought and paid for. Number two is our democratic form of government. It's a fraud. And it's been a fraud, really, in all honesty, for a very long time. And it's going to continue to be a fraud for as long as money and power rule the day. The system and the elites who control it will stop at nothing to hold on to its power and, if possible, to increase its levels of control and manipulation. Manipulation of who, you say? Of you, of course. And they do a damn good job at it. They have absolutely no principles, by the way. I mean, no, uh, no lie is too disgraceful, no hypocrisy is too shameless, and no human sacrifice is too startling. So many of these so-called radical movements, you know, that we see in the streets protesting and everything, are actually nothing of the sort uh, from whatever direction that they claim to be attacking the system. They're just a part of it. They're just pretending to attack the system for the love of God. They serve as a, a way of channeling the public's discontent in directions that are, after all, harmless to those who are in power, the, the, the powerful elite or the powerful cliques out there, and actually are, are really very useful to their agendas. As we continue, number five on my list of things that we have learned in this year of COVID fear 
is the new normal. We keep hearing this term, the new normal. And besides wearing a mask and living in absolute utter fear 24-7, you should see the new normal includes the fact that uh, deadly viruses now have marketing departments. Amazing, isn't it? Madison Avenue advertising agencies running nonstop 24-hour-a-day radio and television commercials intended to keep you in line with the demands of your rulers, those powerful elites, often utilizing, too, by the way, sports figures and Hollywood celebrities to ensure that you do as you're told. Most people in our society can be classified in one, two, or three categories, and possibly even all three at once. Those are cowards, sheep, and morons. They will expel all the values and principles which have been that they have been loudly boasting about all of their lives merely to avoid the slightest chance of public criticism or inconvenience. Despite being absolutely 100% lied to repeatedly over the last 18 months by the elites in power over them, they still want to follow the every command that is made upon them like sheep being led to the freaking slaughter. Number seven on my list is the lamestream media. They are nothing but a propaganda machine for the system. And the journalists who actually work in the lamestream media have sold their souls to the devil, placing their minimal writing skills and verbal talents entirely into the hands of the power elite with the hope, obviously, uh, of being spared any retribution for actually reporting the truth. Sadly, too many, not all, mind you, but too many of our law enforcement personnel are not really servants of the people and anymore, but uh, servants of a powerful and extremely wealthy minority which seeks to control and exploit the average working hard, playing hard American citizen for its own despotic and greedy interests. <laughs> Number nine on my list are scientists. <laughs> you can't trust a scientist. And of course, now we've actually already, we've known that for years as a result of the global warming hoax and all. But they'll use the bewitching power of their white lab coats and their status, their authoritative status, to the benefit of the power elites or those folks who at least are funding their research uh, and lifestyle. I mean, after all, well, he who pays the piper gets to call the tune. And finally, number 10 on my list of things that we've learned in this year of COVID fear. The government doesn't have to violate the Constitution for your constitutional rights to be violated. They have built unholy alliances with corporate entities to do all that dirty work for them. Whether it's uh, social media companies violating your First Amendment rights through their censorship for the greater good, or, or banking institutions nullifying the Second Amendment by refusing to process credit card orders from firearms retailers. Corporate America is more than happy to oblige all of those millionaires and billionaires who are really the ones in control of the plurocratic swamp of Washington, D.C. Over the course of several years now, we have been slowly nudged toward a system of government called an oligarchy. Um, unfortunately, in the last 12 months, we haven't been nudged. We've been shoved smack dab into it, a system of control by a, 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 an elite group of billionaires, while we, the average uh, citizen of the United States, have little or no independent influence whatsoever. Now, if you've been listening to me uh, for the past few minutes in my top 10 list of things that we've learned in the year of COVID fear, you might say to yourself, gee whiz, that Jasmine case kind of cynical. <laughs> 
Thanks for noticing. I am. But there is a way that you can help to at least try and change all of this. You see, there is no way that uh, knowledge gained by a wide awake group of, say, 15 to 20 percent of the population is going to end up being shared by almost everyone. Once the truth gets out there, though, it's going to spread. It, it's, it's going to stay out. And that's why I ask you to share this video. Share this knowledge. Watch it. Like the video. Yeah, that's all fine. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. But most importantly, share it. It's, it's kind of like H.R. Halderman so wisely put it many, many years ago. Once this information gets out, it's nearly impossible to put that toothpaste back in the tube. Also, it's very important, not just this video or this channel, but also my website, www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. We have information, we have news, and we have op-ed pieces there that normally you're not going to find in the lamestream media. That's www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. God bless America and death to the new world order. I'm Jazz McKay, the Deplorable Patriot, and I will see you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. Also, please take a moment and visit our website at www.thedeplorablepatriot.com. God bless America, and death to the New World Order. The time is way overdue to cancel the cancel culture. Embracing our liberties and speaking our minds is the best way to counter the woke cancel culture. And if you've been looking for a source for reliable news and opinion geared toward real conservatives and libertarians, I've got good news. Introducing the DeplorablePatriot.com, a news and information website dedicated to the working hard play and hard men and women of mega country. You'll find up to the minute daily news and opinion from the best writers at the right side of the political world to inspire, inform and entertain with no woke censorship allowed. Remember, evil is powerless when the good are fearless. And the deplorable patriot lives up to those words every single day with articles from patriots like Thomas L. Knapp, Howard Rourke, John Hawkins, Jazz McKay and dozens more. Go to the deplorablepatriot.com and subscribe. If conservative principles and American values are important to you, visit the deplorablepatriot.com today. That's the deplorablepatriot.com. God bless America and death to the new world order.